Hello, and welcome to the communion. Uh, I know there might be a few people out there who don't really know how to do communion or even know what communion is. But uh, let me just read this scripture. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, The cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. So that's why we have wine or grape juice to represent Jesus' blood. And that's why we have crackers or uh, any unleavened bread that you can find to represent his body that was broken for us. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. If y'all want to read this scripture that I just read, when you take communion, uh, to help you feel more of like you're, you know, uh, remembering him, you know, and remember, remembering the exact words that he said, and and uh, you can't really do anything wrong in this sense, uh, as far as what you say, you know, it's not it's not a standard procedure, you know. He just wants us to do it in remembrance of him and. To keep it fresh on our minds. You know what I'm saying? He says do it as often as you you know, you know, need to or as you feel like you need to. Because we need to remember what he did for us. But anyway, uh, you just eat the cracker. And you, you can just say, you know, I, I'm eating this in uh, remembrance that you uh, took our punishment on yourself. You took all those lashes and you hung on the cross you know you suffered for us and then you eat the cracker and then you can uh drink your wine or your grape juice and say this is my i mean this is this is your blood that you shed for us on the cross for our sins and you know we just thank you for this and then you drink it and and you can say a prayer and it's it's really not supposed to be a, a ritual that you have to follow to a T. It's just more supposed to be, you know, like how you remember people's birthdays or, you know, Christmas or any other holiday. It's supposed to be kind of like that where you're just remembering and and uh, actually taking the next step and doing something about it. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope this gave you a little something if you didn't know how to do it. Uh, and I hope that y'all join me tonight and taking communion because today is supposedly the day that Jesus instituted the communion. Anyway, God bless y'all, and I pray that God helps you in some kind of way in your lives. Amen.